Welcome to the FBI edition of KCAT News. This week, Emma Seville gave the spotlight to one of Malvin High School's math teachers, Ginger Berg, who recently became a published author. A few times a month, a member of the Mulvane community gives out boxes of food to anyone in need. Chayton Fonestill has the scoop. And reporter Caleb Perkins breaks down the history of Mulvane High School's alma mater. I'm Emma Seville. And I'm Shane Fonestill. And, and KCAT, KCAT News starts, starts right, right now. now. Family isn't just those who are blood related. It is those you create strong bonds with. Ginger Burke's family is a prime example of what family is. Mrs. Burke has recently written a children's book about her family. Emma has the details. Mrs. Berg has recently written her own book called My Patchwork Family. I caught up with her to discuss being a teacher and her new book. I started teaching in 05, so I'll let you guys do the math on when, how long that's been. So I have wanted to be a teacher since I was in kindergarten. I'm just one of those weird kids that likes school, but it wasn't until high school that I decided I wanted to be a math teacher because I had a math teacher that made me laugh every day and I loved math after I had him. And so that's when I decided to do math. I think when I can get a student who says they hate math to be successful in math every year, uh, I find those students and I can build their confidence up. That makes me feel like a successful teacher. Uh, so yeah, I just published a children's book. That's the story of my family and how we have done foster care and adoption. And I just self-published it and it came out at the end of December. The book is called My Patchwork Family. So I wanted to share my family's story because I know a lot of people have questions about foster care and adoption and what that looks like. And I also wanted to just give a resource to families to open up the conversation of foster families because sometimes it's hard to talk to your kids about things you're not very knowledgeable of. So this gives a way to start that conversation. Just, I love my students, but... I need my street cred up, so tell everybody I'm mean so people don't try to get away with stuff in my classroom. If you're interested in reading her book, you can buy a hard copy on Amazon or a digital version on Kindle by searching My Patrick Family by Ginger Berg. Emma Seville, KCAT News. Joe Cowell and the Victory Fellowship Church passes out boxes of food to any household that needs them at a local coffee shop a few times a month. Chayton has the rest of the story. Let me introduce you to the coffee shop that could. Jane's Landing, a local business who's been a hit in the Malvin community, is now also handing out food to people in need. Uh, we really decided to do the food drive when we were uh, given the opportunity. Uh, it came through my email. A local area church was asking for uh, tax exempt entities to help out with food distribution in the county, uh, both Sedgwick County and Butler County. Uh, and I pastor in Butler County, so I took advantage of that. Then they asked me if I would consider doing it in Sedgwick County too. So then I was able to uh, start doing a food distribution here in Mulvane, Kansas as well. Cal told me the food is handed out by a government agency. Actually pre-packaged when we get it, it's uh, through a program through the federal government, it's farmers to families, and it is fresh produce, it is uh, all uh, goods that are frozen, some are frozen, some are fresh. Uh, we get the uh, milk directly from Highland Dairy. It is milk that is actually better than you can get at the store. It's uh, three weeks uh, before it's uh, overdue. Uh, it's fresh food. It's uh, about 20 pounds of food plus the um, milk and every person would get 20 pounds of box food and uh, one gallon of milk per family unit. Cal also said they have given out 50,000 pounds worth of food to people in need. Uh, we have handed out here in Mulvane alone between 75 and 100 boxes on the weeks that we are able to do it. Uh, we have been able to have seven to eight here over uh, the past three months. Uh, including Rose Hill and Mulvane, we have handed out 50,000 pounds of food uh, just in the three months uh, ending in uh, 2020. So October, November, December, we handed out 50,000 pounds of food through this program. Reporting from Jane's Landing, Chayton Fonsel, KCAT News. Mulvane High School's alma mater has been around since 1954. Caleb breaks down the importance of the alma mater and the history behind it. Whether it's after a football game, a pep assembly, or even a bonfire, there is one tradition that Mulvane High School students have continued to do since 1954. It has been singing the alma mater. Yeah. 
Moving on the Monitor was written by a 1955 Mulvin graduate by the name of G.C. Daniels. The Mulvin on the Monitor became known because of the band teacher in 1954, Mr. Walter Ford. He knew the school needed an alma mater, so he hosted a competition for it. He was a good band director. He was uh, really good at bringing our band back from a dismal year before Mr. Ford came in and kind of got new life going into the band, and we had a very successful year that year. But he said, we really need an alma mater, and so that's why they started that school contest. It took me almost of that English class, and then I spent a little bit of time in trigonometry class finishing up, and I asked the English teacher a couple of questions, and uh, the rest of it, you know, I just, I wrote it as I felt it, and uh, I guess luckily I was awarded the... Uh, prize for writing the alma mater for that year anyway and it was introduced at homecoming in the fall of 1954 by a classmate who sang it over the loudspeaker and even though it's been over 60 years since gc daniels wrote the alma mater he proves that it's still always a good day to be a mulvain wildcat it's i'm proud of the fact that i was able to write words that uh, people can relate to in today's world, which is 60 years later. So really it's, um, you know, a little bit of pride, but really it's something that I just had a love for Mulvane, and uh, that's where I grew up. So here's to you, GC Daniels. God protect our precious claim and always watch our dear Mulvane. Caleb Perkins, KCAT News. Thanks, Caleb. That's it for this week. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching KCAT. KCAT.